Hello, dear students, and welcome to your English lesson. This is a lesson for grade 7, and our topic today is sustainable development. I'm Alen Kataslak, and I will be your teacher today. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to understand a short text about gender equality and about access to drinking water around the world. By means of guiding questions, you will also be able to write your own guidelines or, so to say, steps on how to achieve one of the global goals for sustainable development. For this lesson, you will need a pencil, a notebook, a tablet or a laptop or a mobile phone and a good internet connection. But first, let us find out how you are feeling today. Did you go to bed a little bit late last night? Are you sleepy? Are you happy because you're going to learn a lot of new things today? Are you a little bit sad because you miss hanging around with your friends? Do you miss your sports activities in your free time? Do you miss your school subjects like physical education, art, music? Do you miss your school trips with your friends and your teachers? Are you sad when you look at the empty classrooms today? Two months ago, you were learning together with your classmates in your classrooms and you were able to ask your teachers questions directly. Nowadays, we have to have online learning, but this way or another, you have the right to education. Every child should have the right to education. Have a look at the photos. What is unusual? There are no girls, only boys. Can you guess their country or continent? They are probably from Africa, Asia. Is it fair that there are no girls at schools? No. Have you got younger sisters? Do you know any younger girls from your neighborhood? Can you imagine them sitting at home, not going to school? No, because every child should have the right to education. Why is education so important? So that you can become a doctor, a lawyer, an astronomer, a teacher, a nurse. You can become everything you want to. You just have to go to school and study. So when both boys and girls have the same opportunity to become whatever they like to, we call it gender equality. It means that both boys and girls, men and women are equal, have the same rights. Unfortunately, there are still some places in the world where that is not the case. We will watch a short video about a girl called Kalita who will tell us more about it. The video is not in English, so you will have to read the subtitles. But uh, we will first go through some vocabulary to make it easier for you. Gender equality means that both women and men, boys and girls, have the same rights or opportunities. Na hrvatskom rodna ravnopravnost. Football pitch, the field of play at a football ground. Nogometno igralište. Stand up. Rise to your feet is stupidity. Marry somebody off to find the right person for someone to marry, especially for a female member of your family. While watching the video, try to remember answers to these questions. What country does Kalita come from? When is she extremely happy? How old is Kalita? Why didn't the children know how to study? Why is Kalita transformed? What is Kalita's parents' wish? Is Kalita sure that her parents won't marry her off? In order to watch the video, copy the link bit.ly equality1 into your browser or just scan the QR code. Here are the answers. Kalita comes from Nepal. She is extremely happy whenever she enters the football pitch. Kalita is 16. And how old are you? 
The children didn't know how to study because they were not motivated. Kalita is transformed because of sports. Kalita's parents' wish is to marry her off. Kalita is not sure that her parents want to marry her off. How do you know that Kalita can't be sure that her parents won't marry her off? Because in the end, she says, but I don't know what is going on in their mind. So after all those promises, she can't be sure about her parents. She can't trust them. How do you feel about Kalita and her parents? Can you put yourself in her shoes? Can you imagine yourself in her situation? You are 16. You would like to go to university, to study, in order to become an engineer, a teacher, a doctor, a lawyer, but you can't, because your parents will marry you off. There are many more similar stories like Kalita's in poor countries where people don't have money. One of them is a girl called Nines from Malawi. She is 15, and her family sold her for money. Marriage is not the only reason why young girls in poor countries don't go to school. We will watch another video to find out uh, more about another case. Here is vocabulary you will need in order to understand the video. Misguided, based on wrong information, vođen pogrešnom pretpostavkom. Abundant resource, existing in great quantity, more than needed. Izvor koji postoji u izobili, više nego što je potrebno. A germ, a microorganism, especially one which causes disease. Mikroorganizam koji uzrokuje bolesti. There are some more words, but you should give it a try. Match the words to the pictures. So, the word that matches the first picture would be a te, slavina. The next one, a well, gunar. The next one, a rainwater catchment. Rainwater kišnica, a rainwater catchment, mjesto gdje se sakuplja kišnica. A water pump, pumpa za vodu. While watching the video, try to remember answers to these questions. Why don't girls go to school? What is there in the water they drink? What happens to people when they drink that water? Who helps in providing everyone with drinking water? What are three simple methods that can actually work? In order to watch the video, type in the link bit.ly clean water 6 into your browser or just scan the QR code. The answers are The girls don't go to school because they have to collect water. They walk for three hours in order to collect water. Ask yourself, how far would you walk for water? However, the water is not healthy. There are germs in the water they drink and people can die when they drink that water. There are organizations which can help. And there are three simple methods that can actually work. A fresh water well, a rainwater catchment and water pumps. There are simple methods that can actually help, and help is needed, and you can make a difference too. And the year 2030 is very, very important here. Why? Because of the Sustainable Development Goals. There are 17 goals altogether, and so far we have mentioned three of them. The first one was gender equality, which means that both boys and girls Men and women are equal. The next one was quality education. We have mentioned why education is important. And the last one was clean water. Young girls in poor countries walk for three hours in order to collect water. That's why they don't go to school. These are just some of the reasons why in year 2015 the United Nations member states consisting of 193 countries, including Croatia, agreed on these 17 goals. By means of the global goals, the whole world should achieve these three extraordinary things by the year 2030. 
The first one is to prevent poverty. The second one is to create equal chances for everyone. The third one is to protect our planet. How old will you be in year 2030? There are only 10 years left to achieve the global goals and to transform our planet. The clock is ticking. You are not too young to become a global citizen. What does it mean to become a global citizen? It means you should think globally. You should think about the earth as a planet, water everywhere, education everywhere. But you should act locally. Do something at your own school, in your own town, in your community and your country. That is the beginning. Just remember what we have learned today. Everything starts with education. The global goals start with education. If you are educated, you will treat the others with respect and you will know that everyone deserves the same opportunity. Education is important in escaping poverty. Educated people will boil or filter water if it is needed. They will recognize the need for it and they will help poor areas with simple but effective methods. Education gives the right knowledge on the best health and hygiene practice. It gives the right knowledge on the best way to stay healthy and to take care about nature and environment. Education can help emphasize the importance of growing organic food. It can help end the hunger of today and improve the nutrition of tomorrow. You are not too young to participate. Act now before it is too late. Do a simple action every day. The following ideas may help you. Cycle. Walk. Don't use plastics. Reduce food waste. Plan your meals. Turn off the lights. Refill cups. Buy local products. Take a short shower. Stay informed. Inform the others. The list of the global goals can help you with your ideas. You can find it at the webpage worldlargestlesson.globalgoals.org. If you type in the link bit.ly all global goals or just scan the QR code. To become a global citizen, think about problems you have seen, you have heard of, read about, or experienced firsthand. Concentrate on the things that are important to you, like education, bullying, recycling, first aid, health, rubbish in a park, buildings with no access for people in wheelchair. Is there something you would like to change about it? How can you contribute? Your homework today is to think about a global goal that has left the deepest impact on you. There are a couple of questions which will lead you step by step to action. So answer the questions and get involved. What is important to me? What do I already know about my area of interest? What would I like to change? What are my passions and interests, the way I can contribute? Of course, if you are interested in helping old people, you can volunteer. If you are interested in uh, first aid, you can contact the Red Cross. If you are interested in drawing, that is the way you can contribute. The next question is, what people, associations, groups, institutions, organizations can I contact? How can I inform and include my community? What is my strategy? The steps I will take.
There's an optional idea as well. Optional means you can do it, but you don't have to do it. It's up to you. Your task would be zero waste fashion. What you should do is upcycle your old clothes for new looks. You are all probably familiar with the word recycle. Recycle means, for example, give plastic bottles for money. And then the plastic bottles have to undergo the whole process of uh, recycling uh, where energy is needed. Upcycle means that you use your old things and create a completely new one. You don't give anything to anyone. You can express yourself in a very creative way. People usually make new flower pots from the old things. But you should do something about clothes. It's up to you. It's all up to you and your ideas. When you do that, take a picture. Tell your teachers and friends about it. Don't forget, the thing about the gold is to stay informed and to inform the others, to tell the others about it. So please tell your teachers and friends about it. You can also do zero waste fashion at your school someday. It's all up to you. The power lies within you. You can include your school at local community in your project. And uh, once it is over, go to the link bit.ly uh, SDG Map 1. There is also the original web page address uh, where you can pin your school, leave the photos of your project, uh, see what the other schools have done, uh, connect with them, and of course collaborate. In the end of this lesson, remember the year that is important for the achievement of the global goals. Name at least three global goals and draw the images of two of them. That would be all for now. Stay at home and stay safe. Bye-bye.